When we talk about margin of safety in the context of cost accounting, what we really mean is the amount that sales can drop uh, before you start incurring losses. So we have some uh, sales that we forecasted or some, some sales numbers, and we say, okay, how much could these sales drop uh, before we start incurring uh, losses, before we start losing money? So this is, is actually a really simple con uh, concept. It's best understood um, in the context of an example. Uh, I'll just briefly give you the formula here. So we just take the sales, uh, either actual or budgeted, and then we subtract out the sales that we would need uh, to break even, and that's going to give us the margin of safety. So let's let's just take a look at this. Let's assume that you start a pizza place, right? So you say I, I want to have a pizza parlor, uh, and you you first you start out and you say, well, what do I forecast my sales will be? And so we say, well, the budgeted sales, what you think the sales will be, uh, will be two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's what you expect for the year. Uh, $250,000, and you, you've done some other calculations where you say, okay, for me to break even, uh, to, my break even sales would need to be $200,000. Now, if you don't know how you go about calculating the break even sales dollars, you can check out our other video that shows you how to do that. But for right now, I'll just take it as granted that you know how to do that. So basically, if you look here, we've got a difference between what we're expecting in sales and what we would actually need to break even, right? So we've we've got this spread of fifty thousand, and so that's what our margin of safety is. It, it's really that simple. We're just saying, hey, look, if we go below two hundred thousand, we're losing money, right? Because we need at least two hundred grand to break even, but we're actually expecting two fifty. So we've got this fifty thousand in buffer, right? So that's like a buffer sales. Uh, before you know, sales could drop by 50 grand before we'd really start having any serious problems. And we can actually also think about the margin of safety in terms of a percentage. We could say, okay, what percent could sales fall, right, before we start incurring losses? And so to calculate the margin of safety percentage, you just take the margin of safety here, that 50,000, that buffer, right, that's in the numerator. We just take that and divide it by uh, the sales, it, whether it be actual sales or budgeted sales. Now, in this case, with our pizza place, we looked at budgeted sales, right? So we just take uh, this this 50,000 right here and divide it by the 250,000 budgeted, the forecasted sales, right? So 50,000, here, let me, just, let me just write this out. So we've got the 50,000 divided by 250,000 and that's going to give us 0.2 or 20 percent. So what does this mean? How do we interpret this? Well this basically means that sales can fall 20 percent. Let's go back and see our sales. So our forecasted sales of 250,000, this can fall 20 percent before we would actually start losing any money.